Hey guys, so here it is. Cut off the old front, so once you get a good, good close look at why I didn't even. First off, you don't want to use this because you lose six inches of lowering if you leave that on there. So automatically taking that off, go straight across here, gives you six inches. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. On top of going up another two with the tubing. So plus, like I said, this thing was used on a farm. It is torn up. So we got the worst part of it off there. And now, give you a good look. This is pretty much how the front's gonna be. We'll have a piece of tubing coming across here. And then we're gonna build a little plate right there for the cross springs to come on here. So that's gonna drop it another three, four inches. So it's gonna ride really low and look really good. So here's the overall. Stretch for the flathead V8. The rear end drop for the rear cross springs, 12 inches. So, once we get that front piece in here, get it welded up, we're gonna start working on some suspension. Tune in next time, guys. Go ahead and watch this video. I'll show you how I got there. So the last rat rod video got cut short because apparently when you're welding, you need welding wire. So got some new wire, I'll throw it in a welder, get after it. Okay, so if you remember the last episode at all, I told you that we're going to cut this off, stretch it for the V8, and just for overall length and maybe have a suicide front end. But I also told you that this frame rail is as crooked as a politician. So, what I'm going to do before we cut this, just use this little piece of flat strap, clamp it down, try to get this somewhat square, get it the width we need, that way when we cut it, it'll hold it in place. And then we'll make our cut, build the front end, and then uh, we can start doing some finish welding and then uh, figure out what we're going to do for suspension next. So what we're going to need to do is get the brace back here squared up, so I'll find one more piece to clamp back there and kind of get it where we want it. And then when we make our cut, we can really twist this front end more and get it straightened out. It should align most of this back. Like I said, as you can see, it's kind of doing this number here. So we'll cut that, get that square in it, that square tubing, that'll really bring us where we need to be. And uh, then we can extend the front. Like a glove.
if I can do it lefty. Now that it's apart, you can see that twist. So if you look down, got a pretty good turn in it. Got a crown, and it's twisted. So I want to take this piece here and just build a brace to go in here temporarily. It's going to square it up and then we're going to go ahead and extend the front. So, what we'll do is I cut the, these pieces at 43 inches, so we can do a 40 inch extension. So we'll just come back right here, 3 inches on each side, square it, and put our new tubing on there.
Okay guys, that's going to be it for episode two of the rat rod build. So we're at the point now of finishing one little thing on the front and then we'll start doing suspension. So that'll be next. I'm going to show you how we're going to square up that bent frame and get the suspension as low as we want it. So stay tuned. Episode three will be coming soon. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like it if you would please. Leave any comments you want. I'll be glad to get back with you.